What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome video today and uh, I'm out here with my dad right there and uh, we are at the famous farm pond that you guys have seen me fish quite a bit and uh, today I actually had the idea of doing, um, because normally we come out here, fish chatterbaits and stuff like that and then catch fish and you guys see it. But I want to like put a little twist on it because I feel like we're always fishing with chatterbaits. So today, you guys know that I used to own a company called Imitator Baits. Um, and we made chatterbaits, handmade them. We did the head, painted it, put the skirt together, and then uh, put the blade and everything together. Um, and I'm going to put my chatterbaits up against... Uh, the Z-Man Chatterbait. My dad just has the original uh, Z-Man Chatterbait right here. This is what he's got tied on. This is what I've got tied on on my Chatterbait rod. It's They're very similar things. Um, I've also got a swim jig, a Texas rig, and he's got a little shaky head. So um, we are going to see the, the main goal is to catch fish on Chatterbaits and see who can catch the most fish on, on which whichever chatterbait we're using i'm going to be using obviously my own chatterbait and he's going to be uh focusing on the z-man um i'm not going to limit to only the chatterbait i'm probably still going to throw uh flip a texas rig around and throw a swim jig but if i do throw a chatterbait it's going to be one of mine and if my dad throws a chatterbait it's going to be a z-man one so um other than that we're just going to try to see which one catches more fish whenever we are using them um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's video and uh, let's head over to the pond. Oh, there's one. There we go. It's fish number one right there, fellas. Fish number one on the chatterbait. Smoked it too, look at that. Saw a little fishy. There we go. I got one chatterbait. There you go. My dad still has to get his first. Man, it's a feisty little guy. There we go. Decent little, uh, about a one pounder or so on the chatterbait. Go ahead, toss him back in. Off he goes. Oh, he tried to swim back up on land, but uh, there we go. You guys have seen this chatterbait a lot. Um, I love these uh, the trailer that I'm using on this on these guys, and it's the same trailer that I use on lots of them. Every now and then I'll use one of the Guggen Squad ones that are like 3.8 inches, but these Gambler lures, uh, the Little Easy, they are perfect size. Um, you don't have to cut off uh, the tip or anything; you just slide it right on there. They're great trailers. Highly recommend them. Um, I try to use them for all my chatter baits I picked up like five packs of them down in Florida while I was down there at Bass Pro Shops, if you guys saw that. Um, but yeah, love this chatterbait. Um, this is the same chatterbait that caught me all those fish in Florida, if you guys saw the video. But other than that, I'm going to get back out there and uh, try to catch another fish. Got one. There we go, fellas. This is fish number two. I just brought it straight through some grass and all of a sudden it just got kind of heavy there we go fish number two on the day on the chatterbait as well that is uh that's pretty cool it just got like heavy i brought it through some grass just right in here and uh i kind of it came up to the water and then i just kind of stopped it and then started reeling it in again and uh it just got heavy all of a sudden and it was uh, who was this guy so sweet sweet little fish Alrighty, we're gonna get her back. I kind of got a tosser here, but there we go. Nice little, nice little one pounder as well. Probably about the same size, or maybe just a tad bit smaller than the first one. But uh, it's that's it's on the same combo as as the first fish was. But my dad, um, he is fishing a frog right now. I kind of thought he would have a little bit of luck, um, kind of along some of this grass, but. Uh, apparently he hasn't had anything yet I don't know if he's had any bites or not but um, it is kind of starting to get a little bit cloudy wind is picking up um, yeah so fish number two on the day there's one 
Yep, way out there. Way out there. Scan them in. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go, fellas. Fish number three on the day. There we go. The smallest one of the day. Absolutely choked it. Check that out. There we go. He hit it. I mean, I bombed that cast. And uh, he hit it all the way out there. That's pretty sweet. Oh, there we go. Alrighty, guys. There we go. Third fish. Got a couple pictures for the gram. So make sure to go follow that if you guys haven't already. The link is down in the description if you guys don't follow. But, like I was saying, I, I like freaking toss that cast out so far he hit it all the way out there and uh got him in on the chatterbait once again my dad is still fishing with a frog and uh yeah third fish on the chatterbait so looking good so far There we go, fellas. Yes. There we go. Fish number four. Check that out. On the swim jig. Just caught that guy on the uh, six cents swim jig with a little Guggenbaits trailer on the back there. Awesome little combo setup. Looks absolutely juicy. Like, oh, just get can't get enough of that. But check that out. Fish number four. On the swim jig, decided to put up the chatterbait, try to show you guys something different and test out the swim jig, because I hadn't caught a fish on that swim jig yet. And uh, there we go, fish number four, looking sweet. And just get him back in the water. Absolutely smoked it too. I thought it was a decent fish, but that's a little, about a one pounder or so. Alrighty fam, we are gonna wrap up today's video out here on the pond. I ended up catching four fish, three of which were on the chatterbait. The other one was the last one that you guys just saw was on the six cents uh, swim jig in bluegill. Um, I just, just decided because I, I've been showing you guys chatterbaits like forever and a lot recently. Um, I don't know, they just, they just flat out work. I mean, you guys saw today, they just flat out catch fish. My dad didn't actually end up catching any on the Z-Man. Uh, he kind of split his time between the Z-Man chatterbait and a frog. He didn't catch anything. Wait, did you did you catch anything? A lot of grass. He just caught a lot of grass. And uh, the pond is like really low right now. And there's just like tons of grass. And uh, yeah, it kind of stings. But next time we're going to try to get out here a little bit earlier. Bring some buzz baits. Bring some frogs. And uh, wake up like right as the sun's coming up and uh, get out here try to do some topwater fishing we haven't done that much out here on this pond um, but uh, next time because there's just so much grass we're gonna try to do some some, some topwater fishing but um, other than that I hope you guys enjoyed today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing one other fish being caught on something other than a chatterbait as well and uh, yeah other than that I'll catch you guys on the next time of LMB Nation peace guys